We're about to meet the youngest entrepreneur in Wagga Wagga. He's a little boy who turned his passion for folding into a successful origami business. Hello, my name's Christine. I'm seven years of age. I live in Wagga Wagga. I run business copper pillow paper. Welcome to the art room. So we make monsters, headpieces, and these are all different types of flowers. I make whales. And this is a peacock. And here's your crane. Thank you for listening. Please welcome seven-year-old Augustine. Hey, buddy, welcome. This is for you. Same. These are for me. That is gorgeous. You're a very clever boy. Thank you. So, mate, tell us, what, what have we got here? What's this here? That looks these like a whale. These are whales. There you go. And these are some tulips. Oh, wow. So you're a businessman? Yes. What's your business called? Papel Paper. Where'd that name come from? Um, it's Papel means paper in Spanish. So the business name is Paper Paper? Yeah. Well, that'd work well in Wagga Wagga, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's good, good. <laughs> and so, so you now make little origami things yes. and you sell them? Yes. And you look like a little businessman too. You've got the tie there, you look great. Thank you. And you've got wonderful manners, did you know that? Yes. You did. How did you get into origami? I started folding when I was two and then last year my mum got me this origami book that had um, a swan, frog, Whale, butterfly, fish, mobiles. Mobile phones? No. So do you have to keep referring back to the book? No. I read it out, I read it a few times, like three or two, and then I lock it in my mind. So you've got a really good memory? Yes. What are you going to do with all the money you make? Um, we're going to, to save it up for maybe a holiday to Fiji. You're going to pay for your parents to go on holiday? And me. Well, <laughs> how about rather than take all of you on a good holiday, why don't you just go on an awesome one? Well, I might be alone and I will feel left out and they won't be there. That's a really good point. Because you want to go with your family, don't yes. you? Yes. So is your family in the audience? Yes. There. there they are down there. How much money has he made in his business? He has done very, very well. We've also been fundraising for a couple little charities back at home as well. And he's very passionate about paper and what he does. So he folds paper. Does he fold his clothes? Yeah, he's very neat and tidy. He does his own bed. He prepares his own breakfast, his brother's breakfast. I can't even do all that. <laughs> what does he make for breakfast? Wheat mix. Does he? Does he fold those? <laughs> 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 he would if he could, though. <laughs> so, your son's going to pay for your holiday? There you go. Have you only just learnt this now? <laughs> Can I come now? <laughs> we won't go, not yet. Just soon, though. <laughs> he wants to go to Fiji now. <laughs> now, a question for you, buddy. Yes? You've, you've made this money, but it sounds like you want to use it for charity as well. Yes. That doesn't make you a businessman. That makes you a really good egg. Thank you. Well, can you can you teach me how to fold? What do you want to make? A crane. Is a crane the thing that's the popular? Yes. Yeah, great. So, where should we do this? What's a good workbench? Down here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's hit the floor. Okay. So I've got, I've got to hold those corners there. Yeah. So, how many hours a day are you folding? Before school, I do it like half an hour. But at in the afternoon, I do it like an hour and a half. Wow. When you're not doing origami, you got any other hobbies? Um, soccer. When you get that ball, you just want to let the air out and fold it? <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyways, we weren't able to kick it. Who's your team? I'm Lake Albert. So where's Lake Albert? It's in Wagga Wagga. How come Wagga Wagga's named twice? Why don't you ask your mum? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you most want to be like when you grow up? Uh, 
That's a hard question to answer. I've got a great idea. How about you just stay exactly as you are? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> I'm done. Let's have a look at that. That is fantastic. Now, I believe if I go around here, you've done me a paper aeroplane. Yes. Well, oh, my goodness. Now, that is a paper aeroplane. Did you make this? Yes. Who here would like to see this plane get thrown from a little bit higher? Yeah! yeah. OK, I'm magic. Watch this. Are you scared of heights? No. I'm terrified. <laughs> Augustine, this was a really bad idea. All right, so here we go. You ready to do this thing? Yep. Look at the size of it. It's enormous. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Let him keep the aeroplane? Sure. Can we get a round of applause for Augustine? Hey, how much fun was that? Fun. Yeah? Today, Wagga Wagga, tomorrow the world.